isn't delicious. Oh, delicious. Do you understand? Delicious. Mm. Tonight, carbonara, a pasta carbonara, a classic Italian. We're gonna make it together. It's an easy, mm, easy and not so easy. If you follow the, the, the instructions, how to do it, and you watch me how I'm doing this, we're gonna become like this. This is a good pasta carbonara. Please subscribe to our channel and uh, like and ring the bell. Today I was thinking, what do I like to eat for dinner? And I was, I like pasta a lot because I lived in Italy for so long and I like pasta, I like Italian food and I like uh, carbonara, you know? And I was thinking to make carbonara and share with you how I make this carbonara. Because I always go to restaurant, ask for carbonara, they are giving me like, mm, you know, and I make uh, carbonara at home and I like the way I make it. Okay, let's make it together. The ingredients for carbonara that we are using tonight, I'm using this pasta, I found this pasta nice at the Italian uh, store. It's uh, like penne rigate, a bit bigger. I know that the people like to make carbonara with bucatini, with spaghetti, with uh, rigatoni, with anything. You can make it, just has to be dry pasta, not fresh pasta. Any dry pasta will be nice, whatever you like. And then we we'll, we'll, uh, use the pecorino romano, the dry cheese, nice, from sheep milk. We're gonna add some uh, parmigiano too, but less than pecorino. We got our uh, famous guanciale. I cut in cubit, cubes like this, a bit uh, medium cubes, not too small. And uh, eggs, we're gonna use the eggs from my chicken. I got some seven, eight chicken here in the country. And uh, they are fresh eggs from my chickens. We're gonna cook the pasta. We always follow the instruction on the package we got. We're gonna boil one minute less than what they say on the package. Because this pasta doesn't have to be mixed, mixed, mixed for so long. We, we have to handle it gentle, 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 okay? Caramelize our uh, guanciale. Easy, easy on medium flame or low flame. Is easy for like three, four minutes. We're gonna see the juiced point. I cut in the Cubet, like cubes, not too small, not too big, just like this. They have to be crispy outside and uh, soft inside. And we, we don't use any oil or butter or anything. We, we, we're gonna wait for the guanciale to release the, the, the fat. And we're gonna use the guanciale and the fat we obtain from cooking. Then we're going to take our eggs, we're going to separate the, the yellow from the white, just like this. Because on this recipe we need only the, the, the yellow. And we're going to leave some white, just a little bit. Just like this. Good. We're gonna mix the eggs, but very gentle, not so much, because we don't need air into the eggs. We're gonna just mix a little bit, and that's all. And now we're gonna add our uh, pecorino. We got a fresh grated pecorino here. We're gonna add, we're gonna save some for the uh, head and our uh, Parmigiano too, just a little bit like this, beautiful. And we're gonna mix the eggs with the pecorino. Our eggs look great. They are creamy already, nice, ready to receive the pasta, beautiful. Wow, the guanciale smells amazing. That's why I like to use guanciale, it has a, a, a nice flavor, you know that the, the porkish, the pork smell, that, that uh, bacon smell, but it's not smoked. And that's why I like. Also, I like the pancetta. Pancetta, it's uh, the pork berry, the same. 
like uh, bacon, but it's not smoked, it's only cured. And uh, guanciale is the pork chick from here and has a, a, a nice texture and also a, a very, very good flavor to it. Our pasta, it's, it's ready. We're gonna mix it with our eggs. We're gonna put it like hot and with some water on it. Just like this, and we'll start, start to mix. If the, our eggs are still raw, you know, we, we can cook them a little bit more, and we're gonna put the right here, you know, we see on the, the water is still hot, still boiling, and we're gonna put our pan here, and we're gonna mix and use that hot from the water, and we're gonna cook our eggs gentle and we're going to control the cooking, you know, not overcook the eggs. The pasta has to be creamy and beautiful. Our guanciale is still hot. We're going to add here with, with our fat. Oh, beautiful, the fat from the guanciale and the guanciale, everything inside here, the pasta. I'm gonna mix with the pasta, like this. Easy, don't go crazy, just easy, easy, and mix it, and mix it, and mix it. Like this, you see? Everything looks wonderful. We're not... Uh, gonna add any salt because the pecorino and the parmigiano are salty the guanciale is salty we put some salt in the water to cook the pasta and i think we got enough enough salt here also we're gonna add some more pecorino and and some pepper we like pepper here on the carbonara like this mm -hmm. egg it's cooked at around 65 degrees Fahrenheit, 60-65, will be cooked and that will be okay. You see? Mm. It's dripping, it's still just a little bit, we just a little bit more. All right. Now we can add a little bit of pecorino and a little bit of parmigiano and mix and mix. Wow, it's wonderful. Our carbonara is beautiful. Now we're gonna need a plate. Banana is ready, it's done. We're gonna plate it and we're gonna taste it. Okay. Ooh. Let's see it. It's beautiful. Here. Ooh. This is our carbonara. Beautiful. We're gonna add in top a little bit of our pecorino, just like that, and a bit of parmigiano, and I think a little bit of pepper too. Just a little bit, like this. Ooh. This is wonderful. I think everything came out beautiful. You see, it's shiny. The egg is not raw and is not overcooked. Like this supposed to be the carbonara. Mm. It's delicious. Oh, delicious. You understand? Delicious. Mm. You can taste the one chale, the pasta, it's right, and the egg has some sweetness, you know? Pecorino and Parmigiano explodes in my mouth. And the pepper too, a little bit of uh, picante in the back. Mamma mia. Bon appetit, see you next time.